Well, hello there. This is cool dude Clem doing his ugly voice to microphone because at least his voice is not as ugly as his face. And he also doesn't know why he's talking in third person. Anyway, I know I haven't been that active on YouTube just lately. Thing is, I'm up to my armpits and projects and other things, so I really haven't had time to make YouTube videos. That and my crippling depression that I've had for the past 15 years or so has gotten really bad lately. And the fact that I only get about 3 hours of sleep every night because of my chronic insomnia. Which is why I'm always tired. So, I don't know when it's gonna, when the next time I'm going to do a YouTube video is going to be. Now don't worry, I'm not going to do a 2017 me or whenever it was when I said I'll never do electronics videos again. I'll never forgive myself for that. That was the stupidest thing I'd ever done. The electronics videos will continue, obviously. Anyway, what I want to talk about... Has it really been 1 minute and 4 seconds already? Ugh. I've rambled on and not even said anything. I'm going to have to trim this down quite a bit. Anyway, the Star Kids. Or the future of the Star Kids. Now, I want to continue this series for at least two more episodes. I thought... I would do two more episodes of it, and then maybe a big feature-length episode that wraps everything up. So anyway, when that's all done, what I want to do is see if any TV companies or animation companies are interested in doing it for real. So instead of being done by one insignificant guy in his bedroom with very limited resources, it's going to be done by a whole professional team of animators. Yes, I still live in my parents' house. What? You got a problem with that? Well, do you? You got a problem with that? If you got a problem with that, it's not my problem, it's your problem. <clears throat> anyway, where was I? Now, if there are any TV companies or animation companies listening to this, and I don't suppose there are, but if any of you are, I really want to do this thing. But there's a couple of things. I still want it to be all hand-drawn. I don't want it to look modern. I don't want that angular, modern, sterile, ugly look that cartoons have nowadays, or any CGI. Also, I want to retain all rights to the cartoon, and obviously a cut of the profits, if it makes any. And I don't think it's going to work, but if it does, it might be the big break I've been looking for. It might be my ticket to fame and fortune, which is, you know, what I wanted to do with it from the start. I've had a few suggestions sent in from my viewers and one of my um, voice actors that I work with. So if you remember in the previous episode, Moonbeam was captured and that's pretty much where the episode ended. Well, one of the suggestions was that the evil scientist that created TD is also the same evil scientist that captured Moonbeam. And he escaped from the Earth just before it blew up, so that was how he was able to do it. And the reason he captured her is because he wants to do anything he can to slow down the um, mission to save the human race. And he has a real resentment towards the human race, and that's why he wants to stop everyone from getting onto the new planet. And also there's other suggestions I've had where, um, say, the ship is almost like crashing onto that planet that they shouldn't go to, and it's all breaking up in the atmosphere and they escape at the last second. And an idea that I've had is where they accidentally destroy the universe somehow, and I've got to get it all back together and working again. I haven't really decided how that's going to play out yet, so um, yeah. That might make it into an episode, that might not. But yeah, I still got to clean up after doing episode 6. I still got drawings and other things scattered all about the place that I haven't really got together yet. But I am working on the script for episode 7 right now. Now, I thought I had a draft written, in fact, I'm pretty sure I did have a draft of episode 7 written out, or at least part of episode 7, but I just cannot find it anywhere, so I'm having to do that all over again from scratch, but, you know, most of it's up here, so, you know, in my mind, so, yeah. In my memory. Uh... I don't know why I just made that noise. Anyway, other projects I'm doing, well... There's the homemade tape recorder project. That's still going to be a thing. Now, I'm not actually aiming to build a stereo tape deck with this thing, and eventually it is going to... Like I said, 
Eventually it is going to have a playback circuit, but I just haven't got round to that yet. What I want to do on that next is make a metering circuit, because if you remember from the previous videos about it, it does record a touch too loud, so I need to be able to monitor how loud, and you know, how strong the signal is, so it doesn't over-modulate the tape like it keeps doing. I've been quite busy deleting a lot of junk files off my computer, because, you know, they collect over time, and there's things I don't use anymore, and that's also another thing I've been busy with. Speaking of computers, I might be doing an upgrade on my computer in the next um, few weeks or so, because I'm pretty sure I've got £300 coming my way, and if I do get that £300, I'm going to use it to upgrade my computer. Now, obviously it's not going to be the most powerful system in the world with, like, greatest and latest GPU and CPU and 17 million thousand terabytes of RAM and liquid nitrogen cooling and all that other bollocks, but I think it's still going to be a bit better than the computer I have now. So, new CPU, new CPU, new CPU, new motherboard, new RAM if I need it, yeah, it's not going to be like a top-of-the-line model, but those Ryzen CPUs are mighty tempting. I'm just kind of window shopping here. This stuff's light years ahead of what I've got in my computer right now. With this stuff in my computer, my computer's going to fly. Yeah, and then maybe I can play games at more than one frame per second. And finally, um, I'm going to make a new guitar sample bank. Now, you might remember... Maybe about a year ago or so, I made a guitar sample bank. Well, I wasn't all that happy with it. I thought, you know, I could do better, so... So yeah, that's another thing I've been busy with. I've already broken one string in the process, but I've got a spare set anyway, so it's no big deal. Now, I thought it would be best if I record each string separately, because when you pluck one string, and you're trying to record the sound of just that string, Yet the motion of that string sets all the others into motion. It can really ruin your day. So what I've done here is I've put all the strings that I'm not using. I've just loosened them up and put them out of the way. And of course I'll put them all back where they should be when I'm done. But, you know, here's an idea. Take a shot every time I say, you know. I actually don't. And yeah, this is going to be a hell of a lot of work. I mean, not only is there the recording, but... I've got to separate all those notes into individual samples, and I've got to make sure they're tuned properly. And of course, there's other things I've got to do, such as trimming the samples and uh, making the sample maps and things like that. And even after all of that work, I am still going to release this for free. And I'll tell you one thing. This is going to beat the ever-living snot out of any of those other free guitar sample packs. I might actually do a bit more of a detailed up update on that on my other channel, The Music Wizard. Anyway, my mind's kind of going blank now. I've kind of run out of things to say, so yeah. I'll see you next time. Well, I won't see you next time, but anyway, until next time, goodbye.